of IMPD and the Marion County Prosecutor meeting with members of the community today. They say the reason was to be more transparent about a recent deadly police shooting. Fear to me has many faces. Members of the community grilling IMPD during a meeting today. Is that something that you are looking at to increase the training? So the Greater Indianapolis Progress Committee is the group behind today's meeting. The Greater Indianapolis Progress Committee is a not-for-profit organization that was founded 52 years ago to run initiatives and to help the mayor's administration in the city. We are an organization of all different people, backgrounds, races, cultural organizations, who come together once a month to discuss issues of importance in the city. Today's focus? last week's deadly police action shooting. A pair of IMPD officers now on administrative leave. This after opening fire on a driver who took off after they pulled him over. That driver, 45-year-old Aaron Bailey. A gun was never discovered in Bailey's car. IMPD Chief Brian Roach answering a number of questions today. I want uh, people to know that this is a process. Uh, I, I, we're trying to be as open as possible and share as much information as we can and would ask for patience. Horatio Luster asked several questions. We have a community that right now is living in a great state of fear. We also have police officers that are fearful for their lives also. And as I stated in the meeting, that that's not a good combination. Also on hand for today's meeting was Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry. The message that, that we've tried to send, uh, uh, not only in this situation, but in the past, is that uh, we hope the public is assured that if a police officer steps over the line and uh, engages in criminal conduct, then they're going to be held accountable. Curry also pointing to the numbers tonight. He says since he took office six years ago, he has prosecuted 64 criminal cases against police officers. 42 have resulted in convictions.